guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome Divine Masculine to this week's Yang reading for June the 17th until the 28th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm using the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. I think I'm going to do a a split Divine Partnership reading. So I'm going to Pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions. Okay. So let's look at the overall energy. So strengthening bonds, Ace of Pentacles. So in the um, Rite of Weight deck, usually this card represents new beginnings. You're, you're being given um, an opportunity. So this is a windfall. So it represents a new start that's going to generate prosperity. Now what it says at the bottom is strengthening bonds. And there's a feminine being represented here. And this feminine is faced away. Um, but she's also lit, right? She, you know, surrounded by this bright light. And it's also green. There's growth. So for the next week, you are possibly open to connecting um, with your Divine Feminine, strengthening those bonds. You're in a healing energy and you know you got the king of cups coupled with the page of pentacles um i kept the cards from the twin flame reading so these are the messages from the universe these cards are the the feminine side so you're in a healing open state beginning a new adventure looking to your long-term goals Right, so here there is an offer, right? This opportunity is there with the Ace of Pentacles. So you're beginning something. You're feeling hopeful for the future. You feel that you have the tools and the ability that you that is required. Right, it's a very prosperous time. So I'm just going to leave that there so you can see. So how do you feel about the relationship, the connection, um, about the Divine Feminine? So this is a chariot move. Um, but, you know, what's really standing out is a commitment, a bond shared between two people. Love, right? It's, it's this feeling of love and connectedness, very vibrant energy. So you, but the chariot also represents moving forward emotionally. Um, as the king of cups, you know, the message from the universe was to be the king of cups. So offer your heart, you know, if, the, if you want to move forward in the connection, follow your heart. What are you resisting? trust the fool card so you're resisting taking that leap of faith starting anew uh, trusting in the divine connection so what's standing out to me is this feminine energy um, you know vibrating this glow very positive vibrations being represented here so again, what I'm feeling is, you know, she is willing to take a leap of faith and you need to trust and do the same. 
It's like a nudge in the right direction is what I'm feeling. Message from your higher self. Nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. So your higher self is telling you to keep going. You have the strength, the power to make it to the finish line, to pursue the things that awaken you. Um, but also take time to rest and think about you know, where you want to spend your energy. Maybe you're overexerting yourself. But also I feel, you know, the, the finish line is there. Um, but don't rush ahead, like, in this mad kind of way. Um, take your time, slow down, like the Knight of Pentacles. And also the message from the universe was to plan ahead as well, eh? So there may be movement in the 3D. You desire to move forward in this connection, but you're kind of at a standstill. Um, you're resisting taking that leap of faith. So listen to your higher self and, you know, look after yourself. Consider all your options. Consider the consequences of your actions. Make a plan and do what your heart desires. Okay, so the past position is the tower rebuilt. So this is a sudden change. Reality is changed forever. So shocking news, a shocking realization. You can see this thunderbolt hitting like a mag, um, almost like a steel kind of dress, right? It's, it, it's almost acting like it is absorbing the current. You know, the feminine, you know, there's also, she's closed off as well. Her heart is a bit closed off. So there, there, this is a feminine energy who is being represented here as a tower. So there may have been news from some, uh, from a woman that was shocking. Um, somebody disrupted your foundation All right and you're looking you're looking to strengthen the bond to to reconnect to heal so anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down this is coming in the past and it says rebuild so your focus is on rebuilding having that new foundation that new start looking to the future having a completely new start as a fool, childlike, free, innocent. But, you know, you're still, um, it's, you're, you're weary, I guess, from the tower, you're tired. So the present position we have, nice, manifest, the magician, look at you all-powerful, all-knowing, completely in the now, in the zone. Crown chakra activated. So this is pure consciousness. Pure consciousness is required when you want to manifest, when you want to start a new project, when you want to create a new life for yourself. All right, so very, very powerful energy of manifesting um, the Page of Pentacles is also about, you know, co-creating your reality, something that is in line with yourself, so it's a new journey, uh, to build a life that you desire, and that's exactly what you're doing. Very powerful. From that tower came conscious awareness. The future position, nice. The divine masculine, emperor. This is the energy that you're bringing into the union for the twin flame connection. It was also your energy in 3D for the mid-month energy read. So what I'm feeling here is action is required, but you're kind of like on, you're about to start a new journey you're on the precipice of 
this new start. Now, the Magician comes after the Fool card, so that would mean that he, you've already taken that leap of faith, right? But there's a feminine being re, uh, represented here, so maybe resistance is coming from the feminine, not necessarily yourself. Um, because, you know, the Divine Masculine is a manifester. He takes action. You know, here he's got this scroll with his plans. He, you know, take the lead. Very, very powerful masculine energies right here. Incredible. Okay, message from the universe. Nice. Nine of Cups. The universe is, is telling you that your dreams are coming true. So there's, you know, these hands here that have this galaxy um, in their grasp. So I guess what I'm kind of feeling with this is that, you know, reach out, grab your dreams, uh, create the reality that you desire or that your the reality that you desire is being manifested, right? Nine is nearing the completion would, and t 10 would be um, the happily ever after card. Um, but the universe is saying to pursue things that make you happy. Um, to, to love deeply. To be open to love and connection. So there's a, the universe really is kind of reaching out, almost offering this galaxy or this reality to the masculine, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> we'll see what the extended reading says. So you can uh, purchase it below. There's a link. Um, you'll have to go to my website to order it. So in your external environment is the Ace of Swords, clarity of belief. So there is a masculine energy here. Um, it's like you've set your intention and you've set it free. You've allowed that seed of intention to to, you know, bring you abundance and your desires. And it looks like there's like a heart here, right? Green is growth, love, like emotions. The red um, or magenta could possibly be crown chakra activation, but what I'm, the red, I'm, I'm seeing more red here. So that is, you know, groundedness, base chakra, so new beginning kind of thing. And then the blue is mental, air. So all the colors are being represented except for yellow. But I, I'm seeing like this mental noise is being pushed away by the purple, the magenta, um, which is manifesting to me. I think I'm going on a t tangent here. I apologize. So your external environment, Ace of Swords, um, is either making a decision, having a clear idea, setting that intention, cutting away things. But look at how this masculine's energy, you know, his hand is on his, his heart, right? There's love associated with this intention. So I'm almost feeling like, you know, calling out your, calling for your soulmate. Uh, which was calling in your soulmate was actually the mid-month energy reading. So that's only available through Patreon. Um, okay, and so what do you fear is the Seven of Cups, daydreams and decisions. So you fear that um, what you're pursuing maybe is an illusion, just a daydream. Um, you know, you're afraid maybe you'll lose your way. If you follow your heart, it could lead to um, disillusionment and heartbreak. So this is a card of a standstill. So what I'm kind of seeing, even though 
this is a water card I'm seeing a lot of air there's clouds and this person doesn't have a body and then we got these two pillars which you know very closely resembles the two of swords right it's indecision but this is a seven of cups which usually means having a lot of options not knowing which one to choose um, but a very solemn face what you fear is being in this state okay so let's pull one card from the Osho Zen final message for the masculine this one letting go the eight of cups okay so what you're resisting was letting go you know taking that leap of faith surrendering to destiny um, it does also have to do with the new start and I almost opened it right to the spot I had to go forward and then I went back and then it stopped right at the, the card okay so in existence there is nobody who is superior and nobody who is inferior the blade of grass and the great star are absolutely equal but man wants to be higher than others he wants to conquer nature hence he has to fight continuously all complexities arise out of this fight the innocent person is one who has renounced fighting who is no longer interested in being higher who is no longer interested in performing and provide uh, in proving that he is someone special who has become like a rose flower or like a dewdrop on the lotus leaf who has become part of this infinity who has melted merged and become one with the ocean and is just a wave who has no idea of the I the disappearance of the I is innocence Wow powerful so the universe is telling you to be like that raindrop you know let go become one with all this is another um, cup card emotion right so the universe um, is giving you the eight of cups and the nine of cups and you know that feeling of oneness you're not alone you're you're you are connected to all and you know, that spiral vortex spirally kind of um, oneness all right so I do hope this helps um, please like share and subscribe and comment all right, cheers.